Hello and welcome back. At last lectures, I already helped you to make your ideas and quiz your design for our game. Okay. Now at this lecture, I will help you to quiz our project. And do you remember at the session one, I already to help you to download the Xcode beta from Apple. Okay. Right now at this time, the Xcode beta is version five, and to make an application or game integrate with a uh, WordKit extension, you have to remember that we have to use the Echoes Beta. Okay, let's start the Echoes Beta using the Spotlight. You can search the Echoes in here, and carefully that if we have two versions of Echoes in your Mac, for example, Echoes and Echoes Beta, you have to use the Echoes Beta. Okay. And okay, now let's start the code beta. After you start the code beta, you have to choose files new, and you can choose new project in here. Okay, let's start new project. And uh, remember, at this time when you want to make a uh, application for our game for Apple Watch. You first of all, you have to quit your iOS application. Okay, you choose single view application. And right now, you can write your name of your application. You can choose whatever you want. But for example, at this time, I write out is one, two, three. One, two, three. Game. Okay. And organization name, you can choose. You can write out whatever you want. Always identify same. You can choose what you want, and now I I can make it uh, automatic quiz by echo for me. And in here is language. You can choose optic C's or Swift, and I choose Swift because uh, Swift is new language and it's I think it's very easy for every people who started to work and. In the future, maybe Apple force our developer to use Swift language. So I think Swift is better. Okay, and your device you can choose iPhone or iPad or Universal for iPad and iPhone. But this time I choose iPhone, and I don't use Core Data for this application. Okay, choose next. Now you can. Choose whatever where you can save this project. For example, I save it to here and quit. Okay. And now in the code, you can see here this is the stream to run in here. And at the right side, you have a, a your device in here or some iOS simulator. For example, I choose iPhone 6 Plus and you can run. And you can see here is one, two, three again the splash screen. At this time, our application don't have anything to show up, so we have a swipe screen in here. Okay. Now remember, uh, this is our iOS application, and if you want to integrate the WhatKit, you have to ask WhatKit addition to this app. Okay. You can choose in. File is new, and you can choose a target in here, or uh, you can choose in the one two three game in here, and at the right side in here, you can choose here and to ask target. It's the same, the same result. Okay, so I choose here, and we have a show uh, window show up, and you can choose uh, in iOS a part and to Apple Watch and what kit up. Okay, quiz next. And here you can change the product name or something like organization or identify, the identify. But I think it's uh, better if you keep on. And in here we have some offset in here for include notification send and include clan send. Uh, uh, in this uh, class, I don't mention about the notification and clan send. If you want to uh, uh, check how how it works, you can 
find another class, find my another class for uh, working with uh, WorkKit for own function of this. Okay. At this time, I don't choose notification of land, and now we have to finish. Okay. Now we already has a WorkKit extension integrate with our iWeb app. And you can see at this time we have two functions in here. At the left side, uh, here's the uh, one, two, three game WorkKit extension with interface controller dot sweep. And here's uh, the one, two, three game WorkKit app. We have interface storyboard in here. You can see now we have interface in here. And at the right side, as a inspector file in here. If you don't see in here, you can click this to open it. Okay. And you can choose this interface. And here's uh, as the middle, we have scattered glass. In here, we can see a custom glass interface controller. Okay. That is this glass interface controller is custom glass of what kit interface controller to so you can think that this glass is control interface controller to control this interface okay now let's start our application to test okay first of all we will run you can uh, choose play in here play button in here or you can choose Products run, you can see common R. I, I, I like the circuit, so I when I say run, I, I also press the common R to place our application. Uh, remember, you can still have to choose a one, two, three game. What key does stream in here? If you do not stream, for example, if I choose one, two, three game and I press play in here, it only starts the iPhone 6 plus iOS application. Okay, so you have to choose in here. It's equal to uh, Danos automatically choose this stream for us. So we have to choose manually in here. And let's run. Uh, at this time now we have to run our application for Apple Watch. Okay, and you can see here we have Apple Watch 42mm with our screen in here. It's this clock. And if you didn't see the Apple Watch Simulator in here, you have to choose the simulator here and choose hardware, okay? And external display, and right now at the right side, you can see, you can choose the 38 or 42 millimeter, depend on what you like, okay? For example, if you didn't see it, disable, for example, if you didn't see the Apple Watch, you can choose here and choose 42. Okay, now Apple Watch what is so up. Okay, let's start by quiz. We can change some background to see this on our Apple Watch. Okay, for example, I choose the blue color for our interface in here. Okay, now let's start. And you can see now Wow, Apple Watch in here have a blue background color in here. Okay, that's perfect. Now at this uh, next lecture, I will have you to make our interface to make it a similar like this. Okay, we have to interface in here and we have to decide first interface with one button, another interface with some element like this. Okay, see you in the lecture.